what is happening? We are here on a taste of Mexico. Today we are going sweet. I got my man Angel Garcia. We call him the baby because he's the youngest one here in the kitchen. He's actually taking over all of our desserts. We got a brand new setup. Uh, and one of our classics that we've had on forever, the tres leches. He stepped it up a notch, and he is definitely going to show you how that's done. So Angel, why don't you go ahead and take us through the steps of how you make our tres leches? Sounds good. All right. We got a couple steps going on here. First in this bowl, we got a couple egg yolks, some oil, a little bit of water, and vanilla to flavor it. For my dry ingredients, I got some flour, some sugar, and a little bit of salt, just to make sure that the taste is there. The third step I got is egg whites. The point of the egg whites is it'll make this cake, it's a chiffon style cake, which means it'll be nice and airy and really fluffy, so it'll soak up all those milks that we're gonna put in this cake. So the first step we got, we're gonna make sure these yolks and all the liquids are nicely incorporated in there. And once that's done, all we're gonna do is fold both of these ingredients. So we're gonna start off with the dry ones first. You always wanna start with dry ingredients first to make sure that the cake stays nice and fluffy, as airy as possible. That seems like it takes a lot of time. How long does it take you to use to make our first lashes? About, the folding process is about a good 10 minutes. He complains to me that his arm hurts at the end of the day because he's folding all day long with these test legs. It does get a little known, but... Honestly, we it. can go up to, uh, you know, close to 100 tres leches throughout the week, so he is having to make these things throughout the week, but they're coming out fresh and they're coming out excellent. Give him a shot next time you come in. Okay, so we're finishing up the dry ingredients. Make sure it's nice and incorporated before you add the next ones. Okay. Once that's done, our next step is the whites. So we're going to do it in portions, about three parts. Okay. So Andrew, I know that you got a uh, fruit component to this. What is that? As I chop up this banana for you. The only job <laughs> he gave me was cutting bananas, by the way. Thank you. Uh, the fruits that we got, it's basically whatever is in, in season, the fruits that we're putting today are a mixture of mango strawberries, some blackberries, some bananas, the ones that he's cutting up right now. That's cool, so you're trying to keep it as seasonal as possible. Yes, sir. Great. Make sure it's nice and fresh. So once you got that all mixed up, and that's great that you got the air, the, uh, the whites, and again, he did that because we want to keep this nice and fluffy on the cake because later on you're going to be doing what to the cake? We're going to be baking it, and which will cause it to rise. That way we can add the milks so when we add the warm milk, it's basically going to soak it all up and then that's how you get that nice soft effect. Once you take a bite of it, it's going to be like you're biting hair. It's really, really smooth, nice and airy, and you're just going to be tasting the milk, the coconut, everything that's going to be on. It's going to be a good party in your mouth. <laughs> and that's exactly what we got going on. If you think about it, it's called Tres Leches for a reason. He's going to bake this thing off, and just like he said, he's going to almost use it as a sponge with uh, evaporated milk, condensed milk, he puts a little... Uh, coconut milk and uh, and then uh, you top it with whipped cream. So it's not even tres leches, it should be called cuatro leches, right? Yeah, we This guy's got going on, he's got leche. I gotta build, buy like 10 different types of milk just to keep up with him. So he's gonna go ahead and bake this thing off. We'll see you in a few, uh, few seconds when we uh, take it out and add that milk together. Great, so we pulled the uh, cake out of the oven about 45 minutes ago, then we set it again in that in that evaporated uh, condensed milk and coconut milk for about that next 45 minutes. Uh, we added that layer of fruit, and now he just finished off putting some whipped cream, right? So all you did was whip up some cream with some sugar? Yeah, some sugar, a little bit of vanilla to give it good flavor. Cool, and then what's your, uh, what's your next step? Next step is, since we got the fruit on there, the next step is gonna be, it's a two-layer cake. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the other top half on it. Cool. Right over. Nice. 
man, that thing is so creamy. And that's again because you had that great chiffon cake yeah. with the uh, egg wedge, right? Exactly. It Ooh. helps soak it all up just because it has all those air pockets going into it. And check this out. Mexican restaurants, we use cardboard boxes to flip the cake over. I don't think you're <laughs> going to see that anywhere else. What do you got going on next, Angel? Okay, next up is going to be, we got another layer of whipped cream. All right. And then to finish that off, it's just going to be some toasted coconut. And that is super cool. So check out what he does here. He takes coconut shavings. We could just buy in the store in the bag, right? And he got uh, used our salamander, but you can use your broiler at home. So set your broiler on uh, in your oven, let it get really hot for about 10 minutes or so. And if you can see that caramelized uh, coconut, so the sugar's in that coconut, caramelized up, and it's gonna give it a beautiful, nutty flavor. Perfect for texture, for one, and then it just has that richness that is gonna just make this dessert killer. And it was a great, uh, great touch by Andrew. So you got about a... Uh, quarter inch of a uh, layer of the yeah. cream on there. You don't want to put too much, just right. don't want to put too creamy, but enough just to cover. And cool. Just about finished. And here comes the funnest part. The best part of it is just making the snow on the cake. Finishing touches. And what I really like about toasting it is it really enhances that coconut flavor, really brings it out, and it makes the cake look that much prettier. Just finishing this up. I want to really get all the corners of it to make sure it's all nice and even. Last handful of it. We are set. All we got left is Cut it and serve it. Make sure it tastes great for you guys. Cool, so you have one in the fridge. <laughs> like this guy. So all we do is we cut a little bar here. Man, the fruit in there, the banana and stuff, killer. He has a little blackberry sauce. I'm just gonna decorate this thing up. It does not have to be more than this. A little blackberry sauce, right? It's coconut on that top, gives it a killer texture. The fresh fruit in the middle. I can barely talk because I'm salivating. I want another piece. Guys, Tres Leches Cake. It is so popular down in Mexico. He took it to another level here at Socolo. I hope you get the chance to taste it. This is Angel, AKA The Baby, and my name is Ryan. Thank you very much for checking us out here on A Taste of Mexico. Salud.